Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So <laughs> I just did a release video on 10.11 and I am I'm one of the fortunate people to get it very early on. So I figured I'm gonna go out and do a first drive with it right away. I've got Anytime Fitness, which has a couple of left turns and some other funky stuff along the way. And then I'll put in another destination once I get there. But anyway, let us engage. For those who do not know, who might not be, who might be watching this for the first time, I am legally responsible for the car. Uh, I also have one hand on the car at all times, either my left or my right hand, just to make sure it's on the wheel, but the car itself is doing all of the driving. So I will let you know if there's any, any interventions or anything like that. So we will see, there are a number of improvements. If you haven't seen my release notes video, I will leave a link to that at the end of this video. I will also put it in the description. I'll also put a card up on it. So you should definitely watch that. Notice that we have a complete, complete stop. No questions asked about that anymore. So that was version 10.10 .10 that did that. There was a teeny little bit of a jerk. Also notice it is a lovely spring day in Georgia right now. <laughs> Coming from Colorado and then Washington DC where there was a, an issue with, um, uh, well, not an issue, just a big snowstorm that happened. So anyway, it's very, very nice to have some sunny skies, 20 degrees centigrade temperatures. It's rather lovely out today, so I'm enjoying that. It was actually really cold this morning, but it's really nice this afternoon. So anyway, the first challenge is going to be the stop sign coming up here. And it has always in the past stopped at the stop sign and then crept forward and to the... Looks like it's going to do it still. <laughs> okay, that's worth a little bit of a note to that. It needs to figure out that it can come up to here. Now it's creeping. It's supposed to give a little bit more of a jerk when it starts. Yeah, I would call that a little bit better. It still probably could have been a little bit more aggressive. Plenty safe. That car there was far, far away, so no problems with that. Put this thing down so it's not in the views quite so much. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that, that problem is still a problem. <laughs> I don't know if it will ever fix that problem because it's such a weird situation where the stop sign is like so far away from where the actual line is, but they do need to fix that eventually. All right, so anyway, we are now accelerating to the, let's knock this down a little bit, a couple miles an hour over the speed limit or at the speed limit. It's 50 here. It doesn't really look like a 50 mile an hour zone, but that's what the speed limit is. So we will see. And uh, normally I would turn left here. I've done videos on that before as well, but I'm gonna let the car do its own thing here. So uh, I, haven't <clears throat> I did notice a slight difference coming out of the neighborhood that the car felt a little bit more confident starting up. It, it can sometimes have a lack of assertiveness as it starts, and so that can be a problem. But we will see how it handles. There's some fairly heavy traffic on this road coming up here. It should get into the left lane, although actually both lanes will turn left, but it generally gets into the left lane, right? Uh, it did visualize that though, so that's cool. It visualized the little, <laughs> I don't know what you would call that, but the three-way, the trident or something. So it visualized that it could turn left from that lane, but it didn't. And we have the great good fortune that the light just changed. Wow, sometimes you can wait here for like up to two minutes, so. That's helpful for the channel, if nothing else. Okay, now we make a turn. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, yeah. That felt smoother than in previous times. So now you can see that we don't really have too much further to go. In terms of getting to Anytime Fitness, there is an unprotected left getting out of there, which I thought would be interesting. And then uh, I'm trying to figure out where else to, to take this guy to like kind of drive it through the city. I, again, I don't know that the highway driving is particularly interesting, so I'm trying to stay away from that because, and this is interesting too, it always wants to stop here. Nobody's behind me, so I'm letting it do that. But that is a definite error. It It's very consistent. It does the same thing. So that again, I've marked it under normal circumstances, I would have given it a little bit of an accelerator push to make sure that it went through and didn't annoy anybody, but I'm testing this out and I wanted to, and nobody was behind me, so I didn't really have to worry about it. So uh, those are the things I call kind of annoyance problems. They're not danger problems, they're just annoyance problems. So let's see how it does with this. It should just stay in this lane pretty much the whole way and make a left-hand turn. But like I said, it's gotta make a, an unprotected left to get across, across, uh, I don't know, 
reasonably challenging. It's not that challenging, but it's reasonably challenging traffic to get across. Uh, so like I said, I'm trying to figure out where to take this after we get to Anytime Fitness. Um, I'll probably actually, honestly, just, oh, interesting. All right, well, let's see what it does with this because I would not be getting into this lane now because immediately after the light that's coming up, we're going to have to get into the left lane to make the turn. So <laughs> I don't particularly care whether it gets there or not. I, actually, this is a, as aggressive as I would be because you notice how much time we just saved by getting that much further forward. I also would probably let this person in the white car beside me go f in front of me, but oh well. In the name of science, we have to do some testing, so they're just going to have to wait for it. But anyway, what I'll probably do is just grab an address where I can make sure the car has to kind of go out and make a, a few turns on the way. So, uh, yeah, so so uh, they're modeling intersections. So as we move forward to this intersection, this is pretty good. It's not jiggling as much as it usually does. As we move forward into these intersections, pay attention to, to the screen and see whether they move around a lot. Um, interestingly enough, let's see, what, what do we have? Five, one, two, three, four, five, six pedestrians over there. It's modeling four with some kind of flickering of some of the pedestrians. So that's, it's pretty good. But again, it's, they're far away. So it's not like it's a real issue. Now we got to see what it's going to do because it really needs to get over quickly. It's modeling this out. So it does know that it has to get over that bus or uh, truck, sorry, is blue. Oh, nice. Well, okay. It made it. Very aggressive, but uh, I mean, not, not aggressive at all. <laughs> Very assertive in a positive way. Aggressive would be if it was causing a problem and if it was dangerous, that was really good. Now we need to move into this left lane and slow down at a reasonable pace. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. So you can see that there is traffic. So we're kind of trying to negotiate here. Okay, it had to kind of come to a little bit of a faster stop, but that was more because traffic was being obnoxious. <laughs> So it would have been really interesting if people had been trying to let that thing through. Good. All right. It did that. So, um, all right. Excellent. 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 Let us take this out of autopilot because it's just it's in the parking lot. So we're going to cancel that. I'm going to stop for just one second here. Okay. So this is back in some neighborhood, someplace back here. So <laughs> figure why not? So it does. I was trying to make it do a left, but well, we'll, we'll figure out some other destination after we go here but let's see so it knows it's got to go right it was waiting for that guy so that was actually good and it should be let's see how aggressive it is because it should go right now there's plenty of room okay again a little bit less oh okay all right so that was more assertive for sure as it came out again I'm sort of looking at how it's modeling these intersections here or the, the at least the side roads that it's seeing it does seem to have some more stability. Also watch for people's brake lights. It should hopefully be modeling the brake lights a little bit better. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess this was closer than I thought. All right, so off we go into a side street. And okay, this will be good because if I give it a direction back that way, it'll have to make a left-hand turn as it comes out. And oh, I think we may have actually looked at houses back here before. All right. So it's doing pretty well. It's going to have to make an unprotected left, but this is a very small side streety kind of place. All right. That was a little close to that truck. Makes me a teensy bit uncomfortable when it gets that close to the truck. I wish it would give it just a little more room. All right. And there we go through the area. And it should make a left, I guess, at this stop sign. And I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a swimming pool back here. I've never been back in this neighborhood before. Kind of cool. All right, so let's see how it handles this. Cause actually, oh, it's got to go through this, so it's not stopping. All right, that person behind us is like, my gosh, you're so slow. Nobody ever actually stops at stop signs. It's amazing. <laughs> the car, poor car, stuck stopping at stop signs. All right, oh, and we've got a gate. Okay, <laughs> All right. I'm not going to try to go through a gate illegally. So, All right, let us cancel that and give ourselves another destination. Okay. So again, let's just go ahead and put it into autopilot in this parking lot and see how it handles. So there's a divided exit lane here. I want to see if it models this properly. So it appears to see that good. A little bit hesitant. You can see the steering wheel doing a little bit of a dance there. <laughs> again, this is all stuff that 
Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't know if it was going to stop itself there or not, but I was not willing to take a chance. So I did actually tap the brake. I think it was actually in the process of stopping for that other car, but we'll have to count it as an intervention. But again, I think it was just me being a little bit over, over dramatic about it all. So, all right. Oh, wow. Okay. This actually leads right to the Walmart neighborhood story. <laughs> actually, I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and cancel this and give it some place to the left. Let us go to Target. Target. It's only 0.5 miles, but it does have to make a left-hand turn to get there, so. And then I'll, I'll take us back to uh, someplace in this area, so it'll have to hopefully make a left or two. Actually, I'll take it to the CVS because that's a nasty little turn. Interestingly enough, it's just decided to hang out here far, far away from the car in front of me, but I did start it up in autopilot, like, at a crazy spot, so. Oh, I see what it's doing now. Let's go to, okay. CVS. Okay. Now let's see what it does because it needs to suddenly get in the right hand lane. So, oh, interesting. Okay. Is it going to do it? Wow. I have no idea. <laughs> it's trying. It's thinking about it. Nobody's behind me, so I'm good. All right. <laughs> Wow, it's gotten itself into a very awkward situation, but since nobody's there, I'm just gonna let it roll. We're gonna see what happens. All right, oh, and now we got a green light. So hopefully, mm, totally confused. <laughs> I did have to give it a little tap on the accelerator. I don't think it could see that red light from where it was. So anyway, I'm gonna call that my fault since I was I completely confused it by starting it in the wrong place. Okay, now we got traffic coming up here, getting into our lane because it's Georgia and people always get in front of us. And it should be getting into the left lane. You can see the last part of it's kind of crazy. It needs to go around and on a left and another left and it's a hard left. And so I figured that would be kind of fun to let it try it out. It, uh, I believe it's a protected left. That, interestingly enough, I believe is an illegal move right there. Um, going through an intersection and actually crossing lanes in the middle of the intersection, but I, I can't guarantee that. I never know. That seems to be one of those little, like, minor things. And here comes a truck going across us. Oh, very nicely modeled there. You'll notice the car, it did, st obviously, it's stopping for this traffic in front of us, but it didn't slow down and brake uh, too excessively for that truck going across. That is supposed to be one of the imp improvements of 10.11, and it definitely feels like that was an improvement right there. So it's, it feels like it's handling things better, uh, you know, aside from, <laughs> aside from that weird situation where I'm putting it into autopilot mode, like when it's not quite ready for it, it seems to be handling all of this with a great deal of a plum. I mean, seriously, it's, it's weird. It's hard to, if you're in Athens and you want to test drive with this, I'm happy to let people test drive it because it's one of those things where it's really hard to explain. Like I've been driving this, so I have admittedly only been driving it since 10.3, but the confidence and the ability of the car has gotten so much better. It's so much smoother than it was. It just doesn't feel like there's an issue. Ooh, there's a police car up here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> This may be one of those situations where I may need to bail and go to some other place. Let's see. So, oh, by the way, while we're sitting here, intersection, modeling, faded out. So it looks like it's doing a good job. And also watch the brake lights here. They are supposed to be much more consistent. And sometimes what they would do is they would flicker, but I can see even the car that's in front of the car directly in front of me is, is still flickering. So. Also, interestingly enough, I hadn't noticed this before, but this is like a dark gray. So the one that's directly in front of me is dark gray, and the other ones are a lighter gray, and that one's blue. Huh. I don't know why that one would be blue, because usually blue is something where the car is thinking it needs to get in the way, or, or that's a car that it's going to need to contend with in terms of changing lanes or something. But this is an interesting visualization addition that this car is now a dark gray, the, the uh, Toyota Tacoma in front of me. So a fascinating little aspect of it and in the meantime yeah this will be an interesting little test up here because it's kind of scary for me as a human uh, again I don't 
really go to Starbucks that much, but I wanted it to make that little extra left-hand turn. And I think once it does that, I might, might just tell it to then go home as well and see if it can handle making another left-hand turn out of that parking lot because that would be a really good test as well because it's across multiple lanes of traffic. So trying to put this thing in harm's way. I just drove back with 10.10.2 back from my parents' house to my parents' house and back again, which was about 20-something hours of driving, actually an hour each way of charging, so call it 18 hours of actual driving and uh, two hours or so of charging, but anyway, that it, it just handles that stuff so well, and a lot of back roads and stuff, it took us kind of a funky way, which was actually a little bit faster on the way home, but anyway, all right, so it's going to need to start thinking about getting into the left-hand lane at some point, oh, it is, so you can see it was turning, it was turning those cars blue, first, which it dealt with, and then it's got to deal with um, making a left-hand turn, so, oh man, Starbucks might actually be a protecting left, ah, darn, <laughs> okay, coming out the other direction, I don't know that there's a, I don't come that way very often, but I don't think, man, I should have said Dunkin' Donuts, that would, or Krispy Kreme Donuts, that would have been, I'll put in Krispy Kreme next, so it has to make a left and then another left, because I want to make it have to deal with, with some nasty left-hand turns across this section of traffic here. But anyway, once I do that, I'll probably be done because I don't know that we really need to keep going after that. But anyway, you can see that it is doing very well. It's um, something where even in traffic where you've got human beings who are driving very erratically, this is a, I think this is actually the most dangerous part of Athens is this little stretch of road here. My son got into an accident just up past there. I don't know if you can see the Burger King, but right near where that Burger King is, um, he was in a right-hand lane and a person cut right in front of him and caused a problem. So anyway, um, yeah, it would have been better to have gone to Krispy Kreme, but I don't know if I can actually get there or not. <laughs> I'm debating. Nah, I'm just going to go ahead and let it roll. I've been messing around with the autopilot enough. I'll let it actually do its thing. So <clears throat> it, it, we get the light immediately after these guys who are turning here. So so anyway, again, looks like the intersection is being modeled pretty well, pretty consistently. It's not bouncing as much, and that's uh, obviously a good sign. And again, yeah, I guess the car that's directly in front of you is modeled as gray as opposed to the darker gray, as opposed to these other ones, which are slightly lighter gray. And the, and the brake lights look very consistent now. <clears throat> so, all right, let's see. So it should take us right to the Starbucks parking lot, at which point I'm going to put in Krispy Kreme and make it go out because Krispy Kreme is right there. <clears throat> so we will give it a shot. It should turn left here. Oh, apparently, okay. <laughs> a little bit, oh, autopilot navigation complete. All right, that's interesting. That's a, a, a little bit of a downside, honestly. Let's see. Alrighty, we're gonna give it one little, oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> we're gonna give it one more little loop here and see how it has to do. Uh, it looks like it's trying to route it backwards from where we are, so I think it's gonna go all the way out to this thing and take a left and go around, so this will be interesting. Oh, wow, okay. So hopefully it will make this left-hand turn. This is unprotected, of course, and a little bit jerky, but it's okay. Not too bad. All right. Yeah, hit that, <laughs> hit that pothole. Could have done a little bit better on that. Okay, so it's routed itself. This was interesting because I put in the autopilot and I didn't know if it was going to try to do a U-turn or something. But what it's done is it's created several right-hand turns for itself instead of one left. So, or two lefts, I guess. So I think actually probably the wiser decision, I just gave it just some fun to have to deal with. And let's see where we are here. All right. Again neighborhood. I've maybe been back here like once before, but anyway, so we have the right of way, so good. And there's a big thing. Wow, there's a Stonehenge up here. What in the world? This place is crazy. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Who knows? There's random stuff around here. So let's see. Hopefully it will recognize the edge of this road here. That was good because I certainly didn't want it to hit the, uh, the uh, Stonehenge. And there's a car coming to the left. And all right, good. All right, gave it plenty of space. Started moving as it was going. Um, we 
waiting for high speed crossing traffic. Interesting. I don't know what that was. It just it thought about it for a while. Fortunately, nobody was coming, but that would have been a little bit of a dangerous move. It would have hung itself out there without having to worry. Now we've got a uh, merge, but I don't, it's not an actual merge because we have our own lane. So it's not yet. So we're good. Okay. And then it should get into the left hand lane and make a left hand turn. Um, it is, it can be a protected left because there is a left hand turn signal there. <laughs> Always got to wait. See what those guys are doing. That was interesting that that turns that car blue for just a second. Like it could be a problem car, something like that. So in one mile, we have to make a left hand turn. And I go interested to see how it's going to handle this car right there. It's doing that. Um, don't remember what this light is. But, oh, this is Jimmy Daniels, I think. Yep, okay, anyway, so the next light should be the one that we have to get into the left lane for, but it should be not an issue. Okay, okay. So it's doing this plenty early. I mean, this is six tenths of a mile early, so that's actually excellent that it's getting over that early. That's that's a big thumbs up. That's something that has been problematic for these cars, in, for these full self-driving iterations in the past. Uh, again, car turning, it did break just a little bit for that. I probably would have said don't break at all, but it was not violent or anything. It was just a slight break. Excuse me. So it might have been the fact that the car was in front of us as well, and I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of room for that. So, all right, let's see how it models this intersection as we get up here. We're going to tuck in behind that white car. We have to go around the Jeep first. So good job. It's slowing down. It's turning its turn signal on. These are all correct behaviors. Good, excellent. All right, so we could do an unprotected left here depending on whether there's a traffic flow. You'll see, of course, that there's a uh, green arrow if we need it when the light changes, but otherwise, if, if the traffic breaks far enough, we can do an unprotected left at this road as well. So it'll be curious to see whether it decides that it wants to do that. Well, I guess, I guess we're gonna get a protected left because the light changed. All right, it's a pretty busy time of day right now because it's like 425 in the afternoon, so. All righty. Well, so I think the, uh, the, the full self-driving has been good. I've put it in a couple of dicey situations. I really like don't drive on this stretch of road as much as possible personally, because I hate it so much, um, but it's handled it pretty well. It did not like to make left-hand turns, I noticed, but you know, that's <laughs> navigation wise, if we can figure out how to get around that without making a left, that's good. And of course I was intentionally making these things as complicated as possible. So, all right. Yeah, so we're now off the main road. This one is actually a 50 mile an hour zone, even though it doesn't say that yet. So you notice, I, I wish that it would fix this problem. I wish it would use the maps because it should know this before it gets to the speed limit sign that it's 50, but right there. <laughs> Right there, you can see it's like, hey, it's 50. But it should know that because it should just use, it should default to like whatever Google Maps or whatever they're using so that it doesn't have to take a guess about that. Um, anyway, we're gonna take a right off of this road so it will hopefully slow down in a reasonable amount of time. And we will get in there and then I will uh, discuss my thoughts about this as soon as we get in. So it needs to get into this lane. drive by this place all the time and I never go in here. So there you go. Oh, this is very pretty back here. Right? Little cookie cutter houses. Alrighty. And we should be done with, oh my, this guy is jiggly, isn't it? I guess it was a little, sorry if the camera was jiggly. All right, so that's the end of the navigation. So let me pull over here someplace so I'm not blabbing away with traffic coming. So there's a cross street. All right, so I'll put this in park. Um, so yeah, so thoughts. Um, I think that I do this <laughs> since I parked anyway. I think that uh, the car feels much much smoother in general. I'm going to, of course, I put it in really bad situations at the worst time of day, you know, rush hour time of day. And so there were a couple of places where I was like, eh, you know, a little bit scared. But I think that overall, it felt much better than the last version. There's definite improvements. The modeling, what I could see visualization wise was substantially better. Really, really good stuff. 
uh, and it had the, it modeled the intersections really well. It modeled people's brake lights well. It seemed to be making sense of where it needed to go in the flow of traffic and everything. The only thing I noticed was a couple of times when I was just starting the, the, the full self-driving, it seems to always have the most trouble right when you start it if you start it in a crazy place. So, you know, I'm starting it and I'm going like, you figure it out right now, right away, and it doesn't have time to kind of work its way through. So, so anyway, that's, that's when it seems to have the most trouble. But generally speaking, I think it's an amazing update. I'm going to drive it. I have to go to choir this evening. It's a route that I do all the time. So I'll be really interested to see how that particular thing goes. I have a feeling it's going to be a zero inter inter intervention drive. So I'll be fascinated about that. I will probably record that as well, just to at least put a full self-driving drive up. That's a complete one, so you can take a look at it. In the meantime, I, I, I'm super excited to get this beta, super excited to test it out. And of course, I'm really, really excited when we get the parking lot and highway stuff on the same stack with version 11. I don't know if we're gonna get a 10.12 first or not, or just straight to 11, but anyway, there's a lot of really good stuff. City driving seems to be working really, really well right now, even under nasty circumstances. So congratulations to Ashok, Andre, the AI team, Elon Musk, to everybody at Tesla. This is, this is amazing improvements, guys. <laughs> we're getting really, really close to being able to functionally do level four full self-driving, so really nice job. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.